I think it's fair to say we know a little, but we probably don't know enough to have an algorithm that we think is really good. Dan Ariely, a professor of psychology and behavioral economics at Duke University, questions whether algorithms used by online dating sites actually work. If you look demographically, it doesn't look like they're increasing the amount of marriages. That is, if eHarmony didn't exist, Sally and Steve probably would have gotten married anyway, just not to each other. Oh, we're not done yet. Ariely has a profoundly personal understanding of the nature of human attraction. When I was in my late teens, I got badly burned and I was in the hospital for about three years. As he healed, he worried that his value in the dating market had plummeted. I knew my place in the social hierarchy before I got burned. I knew which girls would date me in principle and which one would not. And I started thinking about where do I fit in? Where do I fit in now? Ariely eventually fit in as an expert on human behavior. He studied thousands of online interactions, examining market value, what makes us attractive online. In men, height and salary are key. I'm 5'9". Imagine, for example, that I wanted to be as attractive as somebody who's 5'10". How much more money would I have to make a year to be as attractive as somebody who's 5'10"? It's about $40,000 a year. That's a lot of money for one, for one inch. Millions seek it. Billions are spent on it. But can science really find your perfect match? Amy Robach goes inside. The computer knows. The computer knows everything. Love at First Bite premieres February 9th 